these are not uh, nylon, they're plastic, so you'll have to watch these spacers. No crush them. I went and did the other side already, as you can see. I left four to hold the heat sink up. On the front part, desoldering the one got new wheeler. Something that can actually um, get hot enough to go up the solder on this. My old one doesn't uh, cut it. Now, obviously, this is going to take a while. But, uh, see how the first one goes. The new soldering gun. Don't want to get it too hot. I damage the, the uh, traces. There's a number of ways you can do it. If you don't want to save the fats, you can just cut the legs and then pull the legs out. But we're just going to try heating it up and pulling down on the fat.
rocket. There you go. Once you get that far, you can um, basically just uh, heat it up and pull the solder through the hole. But uh, there's there's so much um, masking on this board and everything else that even with the oh jeez, right. even with a hot soldering iron, but uh, you see that it melted the um, <laughs> the mat and uh, it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be heat resistant. I have to do a follow up on that. My old one wouldn't have done that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is going to take a while. We're going to keep pulling on until we get them all out, and then I'll we'll have to um, clean the board off. I probably could use my, um, my other Saturn and iron for that. And, Use the solder sucker and go all along there. It's gonna take a while, so I'll bring it back when I got them all out. One thing I'm gonna say is just remove the heat spreader. Um, trying to get the, <laughs> the first bed in is serious pain in the butt. This board is very tight, like the uh, the holes in that. So you get a little bit of solder in those holes, and uh, they don't fit very well. Like even from this side, I can barely get the um, the hole. You know what I mean? It's very tight. So this is definitely going to take quite a while to get done. So what I think what I'm going to do is just to make sure these sets are compatible with this controller. Is I'll do one and then uh, put it back together and power it up. just barely fits in there but uh, I don't know we'll see what we're gonna do here I might as well just keep going but like I said you're gonna have to heat it up pull them at the same time really not made to be serviced well you guys didn't miss much that was a total pain in the butt there's the uh, pile of fats there I had to literally pull them all out like teeth. Uh, basically just heated up the board, just soft enough to pull them through without damaging the board. Uh, in total, I had one pin snap off. I had to use needle nose to get it out. And a bad trace on the inside, which isn't severe. The trace is thick and it goes right to the pin, so I could just basically bridge it with solder. Um, and there's half a ring of the, uh, the loop or the hole where the uh, leg comes through the board it half it's there so I'm, I'm good there so all I'm going to be doing now is uh, soldering these double checking my joints obviously make sure I loop, use the loop and make sure there's nothing touching and then take all the screws out and then do the other four and uh, I, the, the last part of it will be taking this uh, heat tank right off and fixing, obviously fixing that, uh, touching up the solder on the inside and um, fixing that bad trace that I, I messed up. But uh, so far, so good. It, uh, it's easier if you, I had to remove one one uh, capacitor to get at the end one, the end screw here. These ones here sort of moved them out of the way to get at them. But um, so far, so good. Uh, if I ever do this again with this type of controller, I probably will purchase a um, solder sucker. You know, the type where the, um, it's a uh, half solder sucker and half uh, uh, soldering on. i do it that way. This one works, but it'd be easier if you had both of them with the automatic sucker. So, anyway, I'm just going to solder these up, and then we'll uh, take this off and remove the other four.
Okay, those four there. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm fixing that one FET with the, um, I believe it's the center pin that had the bad trace going to it. Um, soldering it from this side won't get the solder on this side to the trace. So I'm gonna solder it here, bend it back, uh, put the heat spreader back on, and then finish uh, doing up the um, four new um, uh, fets that I put on the end. Okay, we are done. Uh, Resoldered all the pins, cut them short. And there's all your old fets. Uh, what we're doing now is we're just going to test the pins, make sure there's no dead shorts. Like that. If there was a short, it'll beep. And uh, we're looking pretty good here. I've already actually already tested it. I found one that was shorted to um, together and it was just a loose piece of um, a loose piece of solder so I just plucked it off. You're gonna get that. But I don't have to test this. We've already I've already tested it so this one here is fine. Yep. Okay nothing there. And then what you do is you come over to here. You want to make sure that the uh, none of these vets are shorted to the um, heat sink because you could have a bad insulator which is a known problem so just ground it like that and uh, go to the casing of the FET that one is nothing nothing there nothing there nothing 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 that that beeping there was just me hitting the screw nothing there nothing there nothing there okay we're good on this side I just want to show I'm fully testing it before I plug it in. And uh, I'm going to stick the meter on it. I'm not going to put it right up to the motor yet, just yet. That one's alright. That one's alright. I just keep nicking the, uh, the screw. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, and nothing there. So we're good. We'll just do a... I'm going to get some brush and brush it just to make sure there's no more um, solder floating around on it. And then we'll... Uh, Hook it up to the bike without the motor and we'll stick the uh, tester on it. Okay, take two. Well, we've already blown it up once. Uh, center phase, I lost two pets. Uh, I don't know if it was from just 
just a bad bet or bad solder or what, but yeah, it blew. So I replaced the two that were bad. Uh, maybe it was bad out of the batch, I don't know. But um, I'm going to fire it up again, see if uh, some more uh, vets come flying out of it. <laughs> Parts anyway. There's a piece right there. <laughs> well, pretty good. So if this blows up again, then um, yeah, I don't think it's going to work with these fets. But uh, we'll try it anyway. <laughs> I keep putting it off. I don't want to do it because if it does pop, then um, I'm going to have to give up on it. Here we go. Nope, something's gone bad. It's, it's, as soon as I turn it on, it's, it's not tripping the breaker. Well, I've never had a controller go so wrong as much as this one has. Um, okay, so you saw me. I tested all the FETs. I made sure there was no shorts and all the solder was good. And then I went to test it and I blew two FETs and shards went flying everywhere. I pulled it off the bike again and uh, pulled the pulled this fed off and this fed off replaced those two test the other ones they're fine tested again it uh, you saw it it tripped the tripper the, uh, the breaker and a puff of smoke came out and it blew all six of them so you get my guess is you know, your guess is as good as mine what it is uh, it's obviously something else on the board um, when I run into a problem like this I just I give up I mean I'm for one I'm out of fats and I can't I've already tested all the all the other parts I can't see any of the problem any other problem with it so I don't know you know I, I'm gonna take my losses I paid 109 for it I'll order another one but at this time I'm not gonna monkey with it uh, this is probably the first controller I've had that's uh, gone bad right off the bat uh, all my other ones I've done they upgraded to fats and they were fine so everything gets recycled I recycle all the wiring. Uh, I'm going to recycle the case and make another project out of that. Uh, the FETs are all good, so they're going in the container for when I work on a, someone's dead controller. I can use those as uh, parts. Um, the screws and the insulators get saved. Really, it's about $100 worth of parts anyway, so. But um, the board and the caps aren't worth saving. And uh, when I did actually take all the FETs off, eventually, you know, when I gave up and I hooked it up to the bike, it turned on without tripping the breaker, but uh, it was giving me um, an error message on the uh, LCD. So there's definitely a problem with the board. So, that sucks. It doesn't always work. Well, I, actually, this is literally, this is the first time I've uh, run into this, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, I'm just going to go and order another one and drop it on the bike and use it as is and overvolt it. So, later guys. As you can see, no real loss to me. Vets, 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 power resistors. Then I save all the screws with the insulators because you never know when you need those. Which, when you need them, you never have them. So, uh, yeah, just pulling it apart now. Cut the wires off, throw it out. <laughs> 